guys um i just want to talk about something that's been like bothering me i don't know why it's been bothering me but it has and i've been meaning to get personal a little bit more personable with everyone here on my channel this is my real hair you guys this is my real hair and it's shrunken state it has conditioner in it so it looks very crazy right now also the shrinkage is real so <laughs> yeah so i've been struggling with my natural hair and no matter how many natural hair videos i watch on youtube on uh, in facebook groups um with doctors and doctor's offices and hearing their recommendations i just can't seem to get it right with my hair for those of you who don't know you probably don't know because i probably i have never mentioned this on my channel but i shaved my head completely bald in 2017 like straight up bald no hair except for follicles whatever i don't know buzz cutting but it was completely bald if i can find some photos i will enter those in here in this video for you guys shaved my head out completely bald the hair started to grow back everything was perfectly fine perfectly fine no issues at all it was all grown back evenly the reason why i cut it off in the first place is because i had this patch here and the patch up here that just refused to grow it refused to grow and it probably just wasn't because it just wouldn't grow but also from the fact that i wasn't really taking care of my hair the way i should the way i know i should um i'm talking about getting really tight hairstyles moisturizing my hair maybe once or twice a month and just letting it do whatever it was gonna do and i think that really took a toll on the way it is now and like i've got that spot up here at least to grow back the one back here is still struggling like i don't know if you guys can see this or not right here but there's like a patch right here and i've been using the hair growth co um oil and it's been working because this patch it used to be all the way down here was bald in this area too but it's the hair is growing it's just growing really slowly so i'm very insecure i think my hair no i know my hair is my biggest insecurity and the fact that i'm putting this out on youtube for all the world to see is insane not to mention a few of my friends do watch my channel i have one really good friend who watches most if not all of my videos shout out to her she'll probably see this and know who i'm talking about but um the fact that i'm putting this out on the internet is still crazy to me but yeah i just if anybody out there who also is also struggling with their hair whether you have 4c hair or you're you know african-american hair or if you don't even have if you're white if you're asian or whatever you're just struggling with hair comment down below because i just want to know how you guys are coping how you're dealing with having a deal with this because you know how high the world holds hair like i'm talking like they hold it on a pedestal sometimes so if you don't have what they deem as good hair long hair then it's the end of the world no guy's gonna like you no place is gonna hire you because of the way your hair looks and just stuff like that yeah that's just something i wanted to get off my chest because i'm probably since it's summertime and it's so stinking hot even in new york it's way hotter than north carolina well not hotter because the humidity in nc is no joke but it's so hot here and i want to have my natural hair out more so you guys will probably see at least when i work from home i'll have it out because i'm not gonna be going anywhere so you guys will probably see it more in my videos coming up so i just wanted to address it before you know anything but yeah just comment down below let me know the way you guys deal with your hair or if you have great hair just some tips or something or what if not great hair if you have hair that people deem is not having any issues with or let me know what you do to it if my 4c sisters who watch this video let me know what type of things you do to your hair um or what can help because i've tried a lot of stuff and actually this is the most this is the most moisturized the most non-tangles most least breakage i've ever had in a long time i think it has to do with me moving to new york when i moved to new york in january i told myself that i was going to do a lot of things differently and a lot of things better so i start eating better working out exercising 
taking care of my hair for once i lost 20 pounds since i got here i don't know if i lost more because i haven't weighed myself because i'm scared <laughs> y'all know how it is um i've been going out and just doing things i never would do i've started wearing shorts most of my friends back home know i hate wearing shorts but since i moved here something just changed and i just wanted to start doing better so and that includes taking care of my hair so i've been doing a deep condition once a week i've been uh, finger detangling I rarely use a comb maybe I use a comb like maybe once a month but most of the time I finger detangle my hair um I put I oil my scalp every single day I oil my scalp every single day with that hair growth co oil um so I think I'm taking care of my hair but I don't know what else needs to be done so if you know let me know okay update y'all on a few things excuse my appearance i'm twisting up my hair and never seem to finish i am just finishing up some work i'm about to go to lunch at one o'clock it's 12 32 just want to tell you guys what's on the agenda for this weekend firstly i just got invited to a last minute hike um and breakneck i don't even know what that is or where that is but we're gonna have fun we're always down for last minute plans i do have to go grocery shopping I wanted to go to Beacon, so but that might be a completely different travel vlog type ordeal. We'll see how I'm feeling um, with creating, but yeah, a lot to look forward to. I have a, so much footage from June that I still have not put out yet. I feel so bad. That's a part of the reason why I am want to, wanting to try Notion is so that I can create a plan to post content like the way I want to because once a week is just not cutting it and I feel like two to three videos a week would be ideal to help like grow because I'm growing but it's not as fast as I would like and I think it's because I'm not as consistent as I should or could be so we'll see what happens but yeah that's it enough chit chat I'm gonna head to lunch in a little bit and just finish up some things with work your time and attention won't you give some of it to me i've been lonely lately i've been feeling neglected and i want you to show me can we get back on the same page tonight can we stay and why don't you What's on the agenda today is just a bunch of cleaning. I'm gonna remove all of my winter stuff and take it and put it downstairs in the basement out of my room so I can just have more room for things. But I just wanna show you guys real quick that I made some cold brew from scratch in a French press. So yeah. And then I picked this up from Walmart yesterday and I've never tried this um, syrup before. So it's French toast. I'm really excited to try it. You spent your time with me. You're speaking. So this is the cold brew. It's like pitch black. This has been in the fridge for over two days. So it should be nice and yummy.
some of this because this is kind of gross. Okay, that made it a lot better. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, before we get started on taking the clothes down to the basement and getting rid of all my winter stuff and transferring into summer, even though we're well into summer, haha, <laughs> late. I just want to take this time really quickly to do a quick little clean beauty routine featuring Merit. Shout out to Merit for sending me a few more um, products. So if you guys saw my previous video I did with Merit Beauty, thanks for looking at that. If you didn't, I will link that above. But I just was able to pick up three more items here. So this is them. And they did come with um, the packaging. I will insert a video of that here. But the packaging is so cute and I love how they have like little quotes and stuff on the outside. I really love the colors and the design, like how sleek the design is. So I just got another um, Perfecting Complexion Stick in the shade Amber. And then I really wanted to try their lightweight lipstick. So I got the shade 1990 and this is what it looks like. I've been used this thing like run it into the ground. <laughs> but um it's really pretty it's like this light brown and then this is the packaging here and then i got another bomb cheek color i absolutely love their cheek colors this one is in the shade raspberry beret so i'm so excited to do a little look for you guys and if most of you most of you don't know Merit is a clean beauty brand that specializes in clean and minimalist style makeup. They feature skin loving ingredients um, in their formulas like plant based squalene, hopefully I'm saying that right, vitamin B5 and antioxidants and there's no coconut oil either in their products but they are vegan cruelty free and they do not test on animals. So if you're into that clean girl makeup routine or if you're just into that trend right now then this brand is definitely for you so let's go ahead and do a little face By this point, I've already put on my skincare. I've been using your personalized skincare along with KazRX, a Korean brand, which I really, really love. So that's my skincare routine. And then I use the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer SPF as well, just to double up on sunscreen because you can never have too much sunscreen. And the thing I love about having bangs is that you don't really need to do up here because you're they're hidden, but I'm gonna do it anyways, just because. And the key here is to just pat in. Not to move it back and forth, which I learned very late in the makeup game. the shiny look right here but I love it I feel like I'm in a magazine like I'm not I don't really care about matte at all that's just me and this is really like I feel like I'm just putting on lip gloss because the brown matches my skin tone so well it's like I'm not even wearing lipstick and then I go like this but I also like to put it here because that's just me. I love that flushed look that looks like I'm always embarrassed about something. That's it. And so this is just going to be my productive makeup look for the day to get things done. If you do want to purchase anything from there, I will link my link below if you would use my link to make your purchase I will be forever grateful but don't feel obligated to do that but that would be nice thank you so much to Mayor for reaching out to me again if you guys are going to be doing some winter drops or fall drops do reach out to your girl again I will be very appreciative 
So thank you again, Merit, for sponsoring this little portion of the video. And now we're going to start working on that mess over there. Original. Original Batman. Oh. I like you, but don't get me started. Gently, me loving it, she giving me steadily, moving it, moving it gently. I like how you giving me steadily. Wind up your body, girl, no matter, no pattern. Give me any how you feel, I'm on my You make my head to swell, I make a man feel sweat. Hey. Baby, love me gently. Baby, kiss me gently. I know. Can hold liquor, likes jigger, can mess with her One me got, run with her, she's a lot, them digger No man fi waste your time, say, no man fi catch your vibe No, them man can get it right, wait, bad man fi waste no time Wind up your body, girl, no matter, no pattern Give me any how you feel, I'm a muggy. You make my head to swell, I make a man fi sweat, hey. Baby, love me gently Baby, kiss me gently I know you want me I know you want me Baby, love me gently This is the blanket I was telling y'all about that I was still sleeping with in May and June. Like, I just took this off my bed like a week ago. Like, am I mentally okay? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I know you want me I know you want me Want me Use this kids so we're just gonna take three of these off there's two and this one's pretty long there's three but yeah we're gonna rinse this as you would with most of your things in some cold water How you guys day is going do i have any subscribers who are in college or in high school middle school elementary well elementary i don't know if there's a elementary kids on here but anyone in high school or college how are you guys doing how's your classes school it's probably a lot different than when i went i graduated in 2012 so i'm not sure how school is now for you guys but i would love to know what are you dealing with what's great what's going good for you what do you feel like your life, where do you feel like your life is headed? What are your goals for the future? Like, I really wanna know. Like, I would love to get to know you guys better since you're so showing me so much love and support and you're getting to know me. I would love to know you guys a lot better. And then here are the cloves. And what do we say? Two tablespoons of cloves. you should add that's what it looks like and then we're just gonna wait for the water to boil and then dump the water in
on uh I love